Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Welcome back to my channel. I am in my pajamas, my hair is wet, and I'm opening my books and treasure box because I can't wait anymore. I didn't open it earlier today because I was reading for Dewey's reverse readathon and I waited and waited and waited. And finally, I was like, I don't wanna wait anymore, so I don't care, I don't have any makeup on, my hair is wet, I'm in my pajamas. But I want to open this box and I don't want to do it without you. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> so as always, there is the little card that tells you everything that is in here. I do not read that because I don't want to know what's in here. I want to be surprised. So that will come into handy later when I uh, tell you where everything is from. Now, let's see here. Now I know there's usually a card, so I want to make sure I open that first. So yes, we have a nice little card with my name on it. A little thank you card, and it's always handwritten. Ooh, this one's nice. It says, thank you for your continued support. I picked this mug out just for you. We hope you enjoy your book and goodies. Sarah and Rebecca at Books and Treasures. Oh, I'm excited. Now, if you saw last month, I opened up my box and I had an owl mug and I about flipped out because I love owls. So I'm really excited for this month. Ooh, now this I remember seeing a teaser for. These are honey sticks. Um, so clover, raspberry, green apple, blackberry, cinnamon, lemon, vanilla, peach, orange, and watermelon. Wow. So they're these honey sticks. So straws of honey. That's going to be so good. There's so many in here. Wow. That's going to be nice and tasty. A little treat. Oh, plant your story. Booksandtreasures.com. It looks like these are little seeds. Aww. I like that a lot. It says weddingpackets.com, so I wonder if these are there and then you put your own seeds in there? That's really cool. Oh, neat. Ooh, what's this? Oh, cucumber mint lotion. A little lotion in there? I wonder if that's like handmade. It says from the, from the fairy hideout. Ooh. Oh, what's this? What's this? Little bag of stuff? Emily Fowler Art. Spreading love, kindness, and acceptance for all. Peel here. Oh, there's stickers. Shine bright? She must have designed these. Spreading love, kindness, and acceptance for all. I hope this piece of artwork help you to brighten your day. Hold on to it for yourself or give it to a friend who could use a positive boost. Share how this card has impacted you on social media with hashtag EFA kindness. We can all change the world one step at a time. Aww. And this says be a rainbow for those who need a light. Who, those who need light. That's pretty. It's like a laminated card. You put this in your wallet just to remind you. Here's another one, same thing, kind of a card here. It's a laminated card with the same message on the back and it says, take time to do what makes your soul happy. That one's really pretty. The artwork on that mason jar is really detailed. That's very nice. And then um, her business card in there. Well, that's neat. I like that. Little, little pocket of kindness there. Very nice. Okay. okay, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Here's the here's the mug. <laughs> so of course I got my teas. So I have lemon delight and earl grey black tea. Oh, they're so nice to me. Oh, it's one of those really big mugs. Oh, 
This is so cute. Oh my gosh. The other mugs I've gotten from my subscription box, I have left up on my uh, bookshelves to put stuff in. I'm drinking out of this one. This is gonna be like one of my everyday mugs. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Sarah and Rebecca. That's awesome. They take such nice care of me. They're so nice. Oh, okay, now time for the book. We've got a beautiful bookmark. It's like kind of shiny, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, has like an iridescent shine to it. I don't know if you can see it, but then look at this beautiful flower charm in there. And they make these, these are handmade bookmarks. Yay. So again, these are used books. Ooh, it looks like this might have been a book of the month club book. The Air You Breathe by Francis de Puentes Pebbles. I've never heard of this. The Air You Breathe? The Air You Breathe? Has anyone read this? Let me know. Let's see what it's about. It says, skinny nine-year-old orphaned Doris is working in the kitchen of a sugar plantation in 1930s Brazil when in walks a girl who changes everything. Gracia, I think, the spoiled daughter of a wealthy sugar, sugar baron is clever, well-fed, pretty, and thrillingly ill-behaved. Born to wildly different worlds, Doris and Gracia, I'm probably saying these names wrong, quickly bond over shared mischief and then on a deeper level over music. One has a voice of a songbird, the other feels melodies in her soul and composes lyrics to match. Music will become their shared passion and the source of their partnership and their rivalry, and for each, the best way out of life to which she was born. But only one of the two is destined to be a star. Ooh. Their intimate, volatile bond will determine their fortunes and haunt their memories. Huh. I don't think I've ever heard of this, but if it's a book of the month club, it's probably something. And it's a nice hardcover book too. Very nice. This was from August 2018. So, wow, the air you breathe. Well, this was wonderful. So I have, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, show you um, a picture here, but it looks like I have the nice book and the wonderful mug. I also have my tea going there and my nice seed packet my nice little artworks, my new bookmark, oh, and my little lotion, my honey sticks, which are gonna be so delicious. Yay, and my beautiful thank you card. Oh, let's see, let's see. What a nice box. And the mug, of course. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that you um, are reading something great, uh, taking care and staying safe. And until next time, guys, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.